Okay, guys, ready? Ready to do some warm up before going to our class? Yeah, but okay, good job. But I, but I want you, but I want you to turn on your camera because we're gonna do some stretching. Turn on your camera so we can do some stretching. I want to see your faces. This is a game. This is really a game. So if a 4E is going to have three score out of three, three perfect score out of three, I'll be giving you treats personally when I come back to school and when I see you guys again, okay? <laughs> Ready? Okay. For those who are not going to... Uh, participate here. Oh, you're not going to be having treats. Only those who are participating who will participate, of course. Okay? Okay, so who participated? Is it Kaya participated? Because the camera is on. Oh, always oh, Kaya. Always oh, Kaya. What about the rest? Okay, guys. Okay, very good. Now, who is Nihad? Nihad, this is your real name, am I right? Okay, Nihad, Nihad, Zeki. Okay, ready guys? Ready? Okay, so I will test your agility. I will test your agility here. So what I said, point to your nose. You're not going to point your nose. Instead, you have to point your eyes. Okay? So if you're going to, if I'm going to say point to your eyes, you need not to point your eyes, but your nose. It's the other way around, okay? Now, if I'm going to say point to your mouth, do not point to your mouth, but you need to point your ear, okay? So when, you, when I say point to your ears, you need not to point your ears, but you need to point to your mouth instead. Ready? Okay. <laughs> do the stretching. So this is what we call point to gain. We're pointing to the other way around game. Okay, ready? Forty. Point to your eyes. Point to your eyes. <laughs> Good job. One point. Okay, forty. Point to your mouth. Point to your mouth. Good job. <laughs> Two score. You need just one more score to perfect this, okay? Point to your nose. Point to your nose. Very good. Three points. Yay. For those who participated, who are these kids? Okay. Hanan. Okay. Who else is? Okay. Okay. Those, I will take note. Mayar. Okay. Mayar. Who else has participated? I will take uh, your name. And then, okay, you will be given treats when I see you at school, okay? <laughs> okay, very good for you, very good. Smart kids, smart kids, okay. Now, guys, if you can see my screen, can you? Yeah, I know, I know. If you can see my screen, we will start our lesson. So, our first lesson for today is about, actually, this is a revision lesson. Okay, Miss, um, do you know Mrs. Shraha? Do you know Mrs. Shra? Of course you know Mrs. Shra. <laughs> okay, yeah. So Mrs. Shra yes, had told I me. Know exactly, okay. Mrs. Is Who? Abdul? Yeah. Abdul? Ha. Abdul Halim? Okay, Abu. Abu. Okay, guys. Um, Mrs. Shra told me that you have. To be, re uh, you have to take a revision lesson about nonfiction and fiction. Okay, can you still remember what is the difference between fiction and nonfiction? Fiction. Yes, yes. Okay, Mohammed. Exactly. Okay, so. Fictional stories are those um, stories that are created from your imagination. So those stories are not real. Not real at all. Like, for example, fairy tales. What else? Myth. Fantasy. Fantasy. Legends. 
Horror stories. Yeah, those are those are not real. Those are not real. They're all created in our imagination. But what about the the non-fictional stories? What are the non-fictional stories? Again, Mohammed told us that those stories that are based in a real life. Yeah, those stories that are based in real life experiences or based in a real life experience. <laughs> Real life experiences like personal narratives, explanation about a model, what else? A recounts, right? So those are non fictional stories. Now I can tell what smart students I'm, ha I'm having here right now. I'm really so proud of 4E. Clap your hands again, guys. Okay, <laughs> now let's move on. So we already learned about the two genres, okay? When we are talking about stories, the two genres, the nonfiction and the fiction. Now let's move on. Yeah, because I'm gonna be handling uh, a writing class with you guys. You're gonna be making some tasks on writing, okay? And I will be assessing how good you are in writing. So at the end of this course that we're going to be having, the best writer will be given a certificate. And that is a certificate signed by our school principal, Mr. Mohattasim uh, Zawur. Okay? Okay? Got that? So you can, you can print out your certificate and then put them, okay? Or nail it on the wall. <laughs> okay, now let's begin with our lesson. Aha, uh -huh. let us start. I can't wait to start. Okay, so can you see my screen now? Do you see it? The screen? Yes. Okay, so yes. what? Can, can you please read the title? Can you please read the title from the screen? Hmm? Your back from Very good. Very good. Who answered it? Mayor answered it. Very good, girl. Mayor is really so smart. Lecture, par, uh, lecture pack on how to write a story. I can't see my screen. Okay, so what's the aim here? What is our main aim here in this lesson? Very good. So, very good. So, our aim is to write a good story, a good but short story. Okay? So, I'll be giving you steps how to do it. There are only six steps for you to follow. And these six Steps are really so easy to follow. That's step number one. Who can read for me step number one? Me. Oh. Me. Who? Who? Me. Okay. Me. <laughs> Maya. Okay. Okay. Rowan. Okay. Oh, very good. Choose. Who answered that? Who? Who read that one? Mayar. Me. Who? Who? Okay, Mayar, we'll be having, whenever you participate, guys, in our live class, you're going to be having points, okay? I'm tallying your um, participation, so we all will have points for participation in every day, okay? So, Mayar told us that we need to choose, we need to choose our genre when we write, yeah, when we write a short story. So, what, the genre, we already spoke about the different genre. So you have to make sure um, if you're going to choose uh, the fiction or the non-fiction, okay? Just have to choose. Which one do you like better? I like writing about kids. I like writing about non-fiction. But in my case, I really love fictional stories. Because they're, I don't know, because you can, you can use your imagination. You know, <laughs> you can be more creative, guys, when you write fictional stories. I hope you can. Because I'm a weirdo. I'm a weirdo kind of person. And my friends call me Weirdo Allen. You know, she's like having a very, very crazy imagination. So I put them into, into writing sometimes. So, yeah. But I think fictional stories are good. Okay. Now, choose your genre. Of course, you need to choose your genre. If you write, if you are writing a story for, for the, the genre may have already been choos chosen for you. So if not, make sure you know the genre or type of the story that you're going to write on. Okay? 
So um, know if your story is a fairy tale, a fantasy, a myth, a mystery, a horror, or other genre. So there are a lot of subgenres besides besides this. Okay, we call this subgenres. Okay, so a genre there are just two main genres: fiction and nonfiction. And under the fictional stories or under fictional genre, we have fairy tale, fantasy, myth, legends, mysteries, horrors, and a lot of them. I swear, a lot of them. And also with the nonfiction, <laughs> there are a lot of subgenres too. Okay, you are already being taught about these subgenres with your English teacher, I, I guess so, during the first term. Am I right? Am I right? I hope so. Yes. Very good. Okay. Yes. Very good, guys. Very good. Another round of applause for our 4A e students. Yeah, these kids are really so cool. Very cool kids. Yeah. Yes, Akaya? Uh. Yeah? You want to you wanna ask something? Please stop. Please stop. Placed, oh, play what? <laughs> play store? Okay, what what does it mean, place, place? Flintstones, Flintstones, yeah, the story, the Flintstone story, yeah. Do you like the Flintstones? Flintstones, say yabba, Flintstones, say yabba, 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 do time, I have a do time, I have a do That was a very old cartoon. Okay. Guys, let's have them. Number two step. Who can read for me? Number two step. Brainstorm. Very good. Okay, for E. All together. Can you read number two steps? All together. One, two, ready, go. Very good. Okay. Brainstorm your idea. Who can explain to me what does it mean, brainstorm your idea? What does it mean, brainstorm your idea? Anyone? What does it mean? Show your idea. Share your idea. Share your idea. I know. I have a different idea. Different ideas? No more talking. No more talking in the story. Uh-huh. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What does it mean, brainstorming? No brainstorming. <laughs> okay. What, when we talk about brainstorming, it means that you need to... To what? Use your... Yeah, you need to know. Yeah, you need to know. You need to learn. Yeah, you need... Yeah, you need to talk to your, your brain. Brain? Hey, hello, are you still working? <laughs> what story are we going to write? Because when you write something, are you going to be relying on your mouth? No. Where are you going to be relying? You're going to be relying on your brain. So this time, when you do brainstorming with your ideas, of course, you're going to talk to your brain. Brain, are you going to be working now? Please cooperate. Yeah, we need to write on something. <laughs> Please work. And then your brain will tell you what you need to do, okay? Because all of the information are actually stored in your brain. So your brain will tell you exactly what are the things that you need to put on, to put into writing. So you need to brainstorm your idea. Brainstorming is the most important step before starting to write. On a black piece of paper, you need to write down everything that comes to... To... It comes to your mind. mind. Yeah. Your mind. Very good. When you think about your story. Very good. So so if the if you're gonna talk to your brain and your brain will answer you back, what are the things that the brain will tell you that you need to write? When you're gonna be writing a short story, what, what are those? What will your brain tell you? <laughs> so your brain <laughs> Yeah, the characters! Only the characters? Just only the characters? The setting! Yeah, the, 
The setting? Aha! Uh -huh. The setting? Oh, it's setting! What else? The, the plot? Events! Events! Or we call it the plot points, okay? The plot points and everything, okay? And everything. So, no, remember kids, no, remember this kids, no detail is too small, okay? So if you're going to be writing a short story, every detail is really very important. If you've missed out one detail, it will destroy the entire story. Like for example, if you're going to write about Little Red Riding Hood, and you skipped one event from the story, like for example, Little Red Riding Hood's mom asked Little Red Riding Hood to go to the grandma's house, and you skipped the part where or when Little Red Riding Hood spoke to the wolf, and you jumped off to the next event or to the next um, uh, yeah to the next uh, scenario of the, 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 the story like the story jump up to the point where little Red Riding Hood was eaten by the wolf oh no so the whole the entire story has already been destroyed so you need to really be in detail okay if you can remember all the things happen in the story then write them there in detail okay <laughs> okay so also in order for you not to forget everything you can ask yourself some questions like who is the main character of the story who is the villain in the story but guys guys what are villains what are villains uh -huh. the evil characters of the story yeah yeah the, what about the protagonist? Who are the protagonist? The most important character in the story. Very good. We have the protagonist and the villain. <laughs> okay. We have the protagonist and the villain. Protagonists are the good guys. The villains are the bad guys in the story. Right? So in every story, there are bad characters and there are good characters. Even in real life. Right? So we need to be careful about it. We need just to follow the good Hi. people. Yes, yeah. Hi. Yes. Okay. Now let's move on. So another question that we also need to remember or to question in order for us to write a more detailed short story. You can also ask your brain, what is the conflict of the story? So you need to know what are the problems encountered or experienced by the characters. So when you think about Little Red Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood was really so worried. Where is her grandma? She didn't know that the big bad wolf eaten the grandma. She didn't know about that, right? So, yeah, yeah that was a big problem. She was worried the entire time. Now, in every problem in the story, there is always a solution, right? So at the end of the story, Little Red Riding Hood thought about a very nice move. I have to ask help from a hunter outside. Okay, and then the hunter killed the big bad wolf, realizing that it was not the grandma, it was a pretense by a big bad wolf, and because it was pretending the whole time that the bad wolf was the grandmother right so the hunter saw it oh no this big bad wolf was not the, the grandma and then he killed the, uh, the, uh, the big bad wolf and then cut or sliced the big bad wolf's tummy and then took the grandma out from the tummy so that was a solution of the problem and then grandma brought brought back to life when they were together again with little red riding hood right so, in every problem, there is a particular solution for that. So, I will tell you when are you going to put the problem or the conflict of the story and when are you going to write the resolution or the solution of the story, okay, later on. Now, let's have number three step. All together, 4E, read the third step. What is the third step? Outline your story. Very. Outline your story. Yay. Very good, guys. So outline your story. What does it mean, outline your story? Who can tell me? Read the story map or 
Yeah, we need Very good. So we stage, this is actually what we call the planning stage. So remember guys, if you write, if you want to be a writer someday, you have to follow the three stages in writing. The first one is brainstorming. The second one is the planning stage. Yeah, and the third one is the draft. And the fourth one is publishing, of course, okay? So when you outline your story, this is what we call the second stage of writing, the planning stage. Okay, so this is when or where you're going to create a story map. So I will show you a story map here. This is the story map. So you're going to plan out things that you're going to write on the story. This is part of your home homework pack. <laughs> I, will, I will show you a very, very funny video. So if you're on your homework, okay, you have just to click on this link and it will bring you to... A video uh, um, it doesn't have any conversation from there no voice it was more on an action it's a, a 4d animation so you have to uh, see the movie it was really really fun and then out from that you will create a short story okay okay so later on so this is what we call the story map the story map guys so you need to outline your Ideas. So, in order for you to create, <laughs> really, you are amazing. I am not amazing. You are the amazing kids. So it's easy for me to teach you because you are all amazing. Yeah, agree. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Four E is the best. Four E is the best. Okay, the best students ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are the best. You are the best. You are the best. I always believe that four E students are the best. No, 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 no. You are the best. No, I'm not the best. <laughs> I'm not the best. Okay, you are the best, guys. Okay, guys. Remember, always for, do not forget this. You need to include. Here, okay, you need to include the character in the settings in the beginning part of your story map. The middle will always include the problem in the story. The end should include all the solutions in the story or what we call the resolution, okay? And of course, you need to end your story in a bang. So your story should be very, very interesting when you're having a very fantastic ending. Who cares reading with a story who has a very bad ending? Who cares? I don't like bad endings. Do you like bad endings? Bad endings? No. 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 We have to make the story. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. And then I have the, a happy ending. You want a happy ending, of course. Kids always want to have a, a happy ending. Me. I'm a kid, too. I am a kid, too. I want to have a happy ending, guys. I'm a kid like you, too. Don't forget about that. <laughs> okay, let's have number four steps. What is number four? All together, 4E. Can you please read for me what is number Write four? Write your story. Write your story. Write. Okay, so this is the part where you're going to be ready to write your story. So out from your outline or story map from here, you are now ready to write your story here. So, I don't care how short it is, I don't care how long the story will be, as long as all the details are there, it's fine. Okay? Okay, guys? So, when you write, it doesn't mean that, oh my god, I have a homework, I need to finish, I need to finish my homework. No. To be a very good writer, you need to meditate. Oh la la, oh la la, oh la la. Say it ten times before you write. <laughs> and, then, and then say, you need, to relax, yeah, right? you need to relax, you need to relax. Get all the energy from, from your surrounding and say to yourself, say to yourself, I am a good writer. I can do best, I can do the best writing ever in this planet. I am good, I am good. And then you will start writing, okay? <laughs> 
okay? Do not pressure yourself. Because if you're going to be pressuring yourself, you're not going to be having a very good story. Yeah? Yeah. Do you know what, guys? Yeah. All the writers, all the writers in the world, whenever they write on something, they always want to go to a place, a secluded place, an isolated place, where no one disturbs them. Because if they're going to be distracted by just one, one noise, everything will be like, ah. Everything will like be, ah. <laughs> so, I will give, be giving you enough time. Yeah, I'll be giving you enough time for this. Okay, do not rush yourself. Be relaxed and enjoy. Okay? Okay, for you. Okay, for you. Okay. Yeah, okay. This class is really very cool. Okay, let's have the fifth. We have the fifth step. Okay. What is the fifth step? Next. Yeah, next. <laughs> Just one word. Next. Next. Just next. Okay, so what does it mean next? Next, review your story. Okay, review your story. You have to read your story out loud to your classmate, to me, or whatsoever. Like, for example, if you finished your story, you can tell to, to our next class, Miss Allen, I already finished my story. Can I read my story to, the, to my classmates? Of course you can. Of course you can. I will be very, very proud to hear the story you wrote. And for that, I'll be giving you a very, very nice mark. Because you are too confident. You are confident enough to show your work. Okay? Okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So why do we need... <laughs> so why do we need to reread our story? We need to check the spelling, the errors, the grammar. Some words are sometimes confusing. Sometimes maybe you meant about writing a happy, yeah, a happy note, but you wrote the sad note. So you can change everything, okay? Before the final. Okay, so the sixth step, which is the last one. What is the sixth? All together. Very good! So you will revise your story. A major part of writing is rewriting. Once you know what you want to change or add, rewrite your story to include the, uh, with your revision. You may choose to have your revisions looked over more or once more before writing the final draft. Okay? So make sure that you will be presenting your story Okay, you will be presenting your story to everyone in a very clean, neat, and fantastic, fantastic way, of course. Okay? Okay. Now we're done with the six steps. Okay. Let's have a very short summary. What are the six steps again? Who can still remember? Who are those six? What, what, what are those six steps? What are those six steps? Uh, this is the problem with the kids. They always forget things. Okay, what is number one? Can you still remember number one step? <laughs> what is number one again? Oh, kiddos, you are still... Choose your Choose the genre! Yay! Choose your genre. Very good. Okay, what is number two? What is number two step? Brainstorm your ideas. Very good. Very good. Okay, what is the number three step? Outline your story. Very good. Who answered all these things? This child really so good. Had a very sharp memory. Who is? Mayara? Was it Mayara? Zakia. Zakia. Wow, Zakia. I'm really so proud of you. You have a very sharp memory. What about number four? What is the fourth step? Oh, that's why. <laughs> you were here. I was really thinking. You were just... <laughs> okay, what is number four? What is number four? Write your story. Very good. And number five, just one word. Next. Review your story. And number six is... Revise your story. Very good. Yay, hey, clap your hands, guys. Now you know the steps. How to write a short story. And I showed you the story map here, okay? So the story map is really so important for your planning. 
for your planning stage. So what are you going to include in the beginning? The characters and the settings. And what happened to the character? Okay, the character in the beginning, what happened to them? Okay, so in the middle, you will introduce them. Yeah, very good. Oh my God, I'm really, I'm really so happy today. I'm really so happy today. Okay, what about the middle? What are the things you need to include in the middle? The middle, you need to include the, the problems, the conflict, oh, the twist in the story. Oh, that was a very nice introduction. It was a very nice in beginning. And then in the middle, something happened to the character. Some sort of like that. So the brain will be, oh my god, really? It happened to this character? Mm hmm Okay. So you have to write it here in the middle part of the story. And in the end, of course, the solution or the, the, the thing that the, the writer the yeah, did <clears throat> to solve the problem. Okay, guys, if you can see it from here. The story will the happy ending. Yeah, happy ending. Okay. So, guys, look. Look here. Um, the setting. What is a setting? Let me just uh, refresh your memory. So, a setting is where... Yeah, it's where, where the story took place, of course. It talks about the where, it's not just the where, it also talks about the when of the story. So the setting, the, the time, and the place. Very good. The character is the who in the story. So who is this, who is the story about, okay? The problem, or, or the troubles. What trouble did the main character encounter or experience and then the solution the solution is how was the problem solved by the character mm. easy right easy wheezy tiny peasy okay easy peasy <laughs> okay guys i have a very short example here of a short story, just a very brief one. This is a funny one. I always love funny stories. I just don't know why. Maybe because I'm funny, like a clown. That's why. <laughs> that's why I love funny things too. Okay, so I want you guys to tell me what is the best title for this story. Okay, ready? Okay, who can read for me the first and the funny? Like you. Funny, I, I'm a clown. That's why I'm a clown dressed up like the teacher <laughs> but actually i was born like i was born a clown i'm sorry to tell you that <laughs> okay guys guys my yard my yard where's my yard okay my yard can you please read for me the first paragraph in the story can you see it yes okay can you read it i hope yes. you can okay i did it i did it not my people Commenting about my hair at all. In fact, I'm rather enjoying it. But one day something happened which made me run to a barber's. A small bird began to build its nest in my hair. <laughs> that was a crazy one. Okay, so from that first paragraph, we already knew the characters in the story. Who are the characters in the story, guys? From that paragraph. Oh. The bird. What else? Who else is? And the boy. The boy. And the. What was mentioned? One more. The one with the one who cuts the hair. The one who cuts the barber. Yeah. Hey. So do you see in the beginning of the story, he already talked about. The characters, right, in the story. Okay, who can read for me the second paragraph? Who well, is brave, brave enough? Who, who, who? Come on, Mo okay, Mohammed, Mohammed, please read for me the second part of the story. It happened. It happened like this. I was lying on the grass under the tree in our yard, day dreaming as usual. Around me, everything was still and silent. I was enjoying the silence. The silence, and I lay there half asleep. I was dreaming about going to places like New York, 
London, Paris, Berlin, Vienna, Constantinople, Rome, and Scarborough. I feel fast asleep. Very good. Clap your hands to Mayor and Mommy. Good winners in 4E. Very good, guys. I'm so proud of you. Okay, so look here in the second paragraph we have the setting right of the story so the writer uh spoke about the tree the the environment uh the surrounding and even the dreamt uh, the, the the dreams the dreams he had okay while he was under the tree right okay so remember in the beginning include the character and the setting let's go to the thing Paragraph. This is a longer one. So, who is brave enough to read the third paragraph? Okay, let me make it bigger. Okay. Me. Oh. <laughs> who is Russia? Abu Bakar. Okay, Abu Bakar. Abu Bakar, please speak for me, Abu Bakar. It was then. Okay, Abu. Mohammed. Okay, Abu. Who is Abu? <laughs> Who is Abu? I want a volunteer from the Abu Bak. Okay, Abu Bak. Can you please read for me the third paragraph? It was then. Can you read it? Hello. Clink, clink. Hello. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Zakaya. Zakaya. Okay, Zakaya will read it for us. Okay. So now, okay. Of a bird, so clearly. Okay. So strong, and you are yet at the same time, so the pressure and so all are. situation right a particular situation where we can call it a conflict or a problem okay now tell me what happened to the character what happened to the character okay who <laughs> Mayor again 
Mayar, what do you think happened to the character here? Uh, built a nest in his hair. Oh my god, the bird built a nest on <laughs> the boy's hair. Is that a usual thing to do for a bird? <laughs> so it was a crazy one, right? He, he, uh, the bird might probably thought, okay, no. <laughs> the, the bird probably thought, that, oh my god, this is a good breeding ground for, for eggs. <laughs> I will lay my eggs here. This is really <laughs> floppy or something like that. Okay, so it was not unusual. It was a crazy story, right? So this is what happened in the character's part in the story. So you have to be very, very crucial about the details. You can see the writer had shown the, the detailed okay, situations that the character was able to experience in the story. Now the last. Okay, hey for me the last part of the story. Hey, who can? Anyone? Okay, uh, who is Jihan? Jihan? Who is Jihan? Okay, Jihan? Okay, Jihan, can you? Jihan is who? Rahab. Okay, Rahab. Rahab, can you please read for me the last? The, uh, this one. This one. The, uh, uh, the, the last three. The last three paragraphs. Aram Barber shop He was not Rahab Rahab, I think Rahab is having some Okay. And others. Okay. Rahab. Okay. Okay. I will. I will read it for you guys. Okay. I think Rahab is having some uh, problems with the connection. Okay. So people said he was not a barber. Some said he was a farmer and others said he was a philosopher. I don't know. I just needed a haircut. I soon reached the shop and found a ram sleeping at the table with the book open in front of him. I woke up and said, will you cut my hair, please? I have 25 cents. Okay, guys. I said shine. Oh, I think I'm having a bad connection. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Are you using the internet for that? Where are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I was kicked out by the net. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm here again. I'm here again. Do not worry, kids. I'm here again. Okay, so guys, this story end up like um, everybody. Everybody was um, ha um, everybody was okay in this story. Like uh, Ram, the barber, helped the boy cut his hair. Okay, so it was a funny story. It was ha it was really having a very nice ending, as you can see at the last part of it. Okay, guys, as you can see at the last part of it, what was the resolution did by the character? What was the solution? Cut his hair. Cut hair. Cut hair. Yeah. He cut his hair. Yeah, he cut his hair. And do you think after cutting his hair, the bird will not be coming back to him and sit on his head again? <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The bird will not be uh, <laughs> coming back to him again anymore because he had what he had his hair cut. Okay, guys. I am seeing boys here who needs a haircut. Now you need to cut your hair too, in order for you not to be chased by birds, or else the birds, <laughs> the birds, the birds will be running after you, and they will be building nests on your head. <laughs> okay, yay for you! It was a very nice lesson. I'm really so happy, guys. Really very happy to meet each one of you. Okay. So do not forget again when you write a story, include include this: the setting and the character in the beginning part of your story, the problem in the middle part of the story, and the solution at the end part of your story. In order for you to be guided how to write, you need to fill in the story map first, and then you can start writing your story. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. If you're gonna go back to easy class. Back to easy class. You can find more information about the lesson. Okay. I will ask you questions later on. Yes. Yes, baby. Do you have any questions? Can I sit you? Okay. Please say something. Hello. Cling cling cling. Hello, Miss Alia. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So where um where are you gonna get your assignments? Where are you getting assignments? Your assignments just go to Easy Class again and look for the assignments in here. Do you see it? Click on the assignments and to act number. Not as have you yet. Okay. Homework act number one. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. No. Who is it? who no. wants to ask this question? Silence. Yes. Yes. Okay. Please do. Please ask. Uh huh. Rahab. When are you when are you gonna when are you gonna be sending your homework pack? Yeah, your homework pack is due until Friday. Do not worry about it. Do not watch things. Yes. Noara, Noara, you wanna ask a question? Yeah, Noara. No. I can't hear you. <laughs> I can't hear you. Your your voices are broken. Rahab? Okay. What? Rahab, this is not your... What is Rahab not your permission? Okay, please ask now. Oh, the, the story. Yeah. Yeah, we forgot to answer it. What is the title of the story? Because I told you, whoever can give the title of the story will have ten points for today. It doesn't have a title, so you have to, you have to uh, give me the title of the story. What is the title of the story? Huh? Give me the. Oh yeah, the boy with the big hair. <laughs> Yay! That is a good story. That is a good story title. Very good, guys. So whenever you're going to be writing a short story, thank you for reminding me about the title, sweetie. So who answered that? Who answered that? She will be having 10 points. Mayor got 10 points. Mayor got a lot of points today. Very good, girl. You're doing great in the class. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So, guys, next class, do not be quiet. Okay, participate in every discussions we're going to be having in the class in order for you to also learn. And I will also learn from you. Okay. Okay. No questions. No questions. Everything is clear. Okay. I will see you again tomorrow.